Now we're going to look at Marilyn Fry's essay called Oppression. So what is Fry doing in this essay? Um, she's trying to pinpoint what exactly oppression is, and she's asking this question, which is, what is the mechanism that serves to oppress people? So when you're reading the beginning of this essay, you should note that Fry is using words like barriers and forces and limiting of options and things like that. And then she gets to this part where she uses this birdcage analogy. So what is the cage? She wants to say that it's the interlocking nature of oppression. Um, and all of the wires are working together to reinforce each other and to strengthen the cage. So as you can see in this picture here, each individual wire in this cage is pretty much useless at holding somebody down or oppressing them. But because they're all interlocking or they're all welded together and tied together, that's what's making the cage oppressive and holding the bird in. So then Fry goes into this whole thing about chivalry and holding doors open. Why is it problematic if a man opens a door for a woman um, when we're using the birdcage analogy? So you can see that it's part of this pervasive system of oppressive forces on women. Um, and that's going to be symbolic of the fact that women are seen as limited. Um, for instance, that we need help opening doors. Um, and Fry is going to use words like incapable and dependence and things like that in this essay. So who is in the birdcage? Fry especially is using women in this piece. But I want you to focus on this as members of marginalized groups, generally. So that's not just going to be limited to women. That's going to be women, people of color, LGBT, disabled, right? So Fry says that a woman is oppressed as a woman. So what does that mean when you say as a woman? That means that you're oppressed because you are a part of the marginalized group. So because you're a woman, and not because of any other reason, you're in that cage, or you're oppressed. So why don't we really recognize that women are oppressed? Women are sort of assimilated, as Fry says, or dispersed across the population. So there's no geographical ghettoization of women, um, like we could see in the case with Jews in Germany, or black people in the US, um, or neighborhoods according to class, things like that. But women are present in all of these places. We're stratified among other socially oppressed groups. But Fry is going to argue further that we are based on our gender roles. We are ghettoized. So we're separated in our everyday functions. Our oppression is sort of hidden in plain sight because there's no clear geographic location that shows where we've been forced into. So why is suffering different from oppression? I mean, everyone suffers, right? But suffering more generally is not really systematic to a group. So Fry says that we have to look at the suffering and decide whether it's oppression or not based on context. So if it targets somebody because they are a member of a specific group, then it's oppression. So Fry is using a lot of examples of who is oppressed and who isn't. So she uses this example of a white person who's suffering from black ghettos because she's unable to be, when Fry says, exposed, right, or something like that, of the life in a black ghetto. But this person, realistically, is not oppressed by the system. So if you take a step back, remember the birdcage again, you can see that the suffering of the white person is actually for the overall benefit of white supremacists. So it can't be oppressive to the white person, only to the black person who is ghettoized because of her status as a member of the black population. So, I mean, what about men? Aren't they oppressed by gender roles? Fry's going to say no, because those gender roles have been put in place for the benefit of men at the cost of women. So because men can be in control of the economy and politics, etc., this doesn't mean that all men are bad, but that the system is bad. So just because you're a man doesn't make you the enemy. It just means that the system is set up to help you at the expense of women, and any suffering you may experience is suffering, not oppression. So that's the basics of Fry. 
Next, you're going to work on Collins, and then you'll do again your guided reading quiz, and then at the end of this unit, you'll go ahead and do a discussion.